the confirmed cost for armor coatings in Halo Infinite and Cyberpunk being delayed once again could also play into a factor of why Halo Infinite was delayed as well. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So we recently had some information come out guys about how much these armor coatings are going to cost us. We do know that there are going to be microtransactions within Halo Infinite. No paid loot boxes, but certainly will be microtransactions. And as I assumed, they'd be monetizing the customization as that's been kind of the standard now when it comes to the gaming industry. How much is it really going to cost you to play Halo Infinite? How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it really helps with the YouTube algorithm so more people can get a chance to see this video to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. So this information was kind of being spread around quite a bit as it was probably you know thrown away in the uh, terms of service, the legal agreements that you sign up for these different sweepstakes and the different marketing advertisement deals that uh, 343 has been making with various companies about Halo Infinite. Some companies are continuing on with their marketing deals and some are holding back. And right now we have some deal right now going on with I think it was Oreos I think right now that if you buy some Oreos you get a code you type in that code on HaloWaypoint.com and then you get the armor coating monarch from it. Recently, another Halo YouTuber, Sean W, went out and bought some of these Oreos. I haven't been able to find them at all in my area and actually posted a screenshot of what happened when he actually input the codes into the website. And from the screenshot, you can show here that they own Halo Infinite to enter the win a chance to Xbox between October 15th through December 21st of 2020. Sean, here is your code to unlock Halo Infinite in-game content. This code will unlock one monarch armor coating valued at $5. Legally, they had to tell you the value of something you're getting for these kind of sweep sweepstakes. And so now we know that an armor coating in Halo Infinite will cost $5. Now, when you initially hear that, you're like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. They're charging us for colors now, which yes, that's gonna be in the game. It's gonna be a pain to deal with. Yeah, but you know, it's gonna be a free to play multiplayer game. So that stuff is kind of to be expected. I was wondering how 343 was gonna monetize the customization and it looks like they're going this route, but it's not the only way you can unlock armor coatings for Halo Infinite. Unishack recently went out on Twitter to clarify some of these things. I put this up in my last video. If you guys wanna check out that one as well, it goes into a little bit more detail, but essentially he says that there will be ways in game to unlock your armor coatings that you would like. There's gonna be some armor coatings tied to specific tasks within the game. And yes, some will be available for purchase as well. My expectations is that there's gonna be a season pass model when it comes to Halo Infinite's multiplayer. You'll be able to unlock coatings by grinding out the game, by playing it a bunch as like your main title as you probably would with any game really. You can unlock coatings that way for free and you probably have some individual purchases that you would like to make as well that, you know, it's kind of along the same lines that we've seen for Modern Warfare for uh, 2019 for their battle pass system. But I imagine something very similar as they've been getting a lot of praise for a rather fair microtransaction system within a $60 game. So does this replace the primary and secondary coloring options? No, it doesn't. You lose that sense of creativity. 343 just failed to mention why their system is better now than it was then. And obviously, yes, having developer made coatings does offer a lot more unique customization. That is very true. But it lacks that personality because you're kind of just choosing what someone else made for you. Again, we don't have the full story when it comes to Halo Infinite's customization. For right now, it doesn't look good. I'll be honest with you guys on that one. I'd much rather see primary second colors be an option. And if you wanted to pay for an armor coating, that's fair too. The gift player is an option that they would like to have, which I do have a feeling we'll know more about customization and some more parts about Halo Infinite before the end of the year. So that's my, you know, Cross my fingers on that one. I have a feeling we might know something. It's been rumored that's going to be coming around with the November 9th Xbox Series X launch uh, event that's happening on November 9th. Rumored to be some more gameplay and even some multiplayer and even like a beta announcement as well being involved with that launch party for Xbox. So if anything does happen, I guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel. Though, so if you want some truly awesome customization like you see maybe right here, 
you can check out the Teespring link in the description down below and also items below this video as well. We put together our merch store guys for you guys to check out everything that you buy on this merch store it does support the channel directly. So if you want to, that's totally an option for you. And most of it right now is just kind of logos and things like that, like I'm wearing right now, the logo tee. Uh, I recently put together a Halo button combo t-shirt as well. So you can kind of support your Halo fandom while also supporting the channel at the same time. We've already seen some purchases happen, so I greatly appreciate it. If you guys do, share it to me on social media. I'll put you in a video because that is awesome. You guys are willing to support the channel that way. So if you guys want to, that's an option, but I greatly appreciate you checking it out. So let's get back into the video here. But probably the biggest gaming news that's going on right now, the most anticipated game of 2020, Cyberpunk 2077, has been delayed once again. Now, I know this doesn't exactly entail to Halo exactly, but I think it kind of might give you some insight about why Halo Infinite might have been delayed on top of just the general COVID issues. And they actually state specifically here on this cyberpunk delay why it was delayed. On Twitter, they mentioned a post saying, the biggest challenge for us right now is shipping the game on current gen, next gen, and PC at the same time, which requires us to prepare and test nine versions of Xbox One slash X compatibility on Xbox Series S and X, PS4, PS4 Pro compatibility on PS5, PC, and Stadia while working from home since Cyberpunk 2077 evolved towards almost being a next gen title where along the way, we need to make sure everything works well and every version runs smoothly. We are aware it might seem unrealistic when some say that 21 days can make any difference in such a massive complex game, but they really do. So essentially they state that the reason why the game was delayed is because they've had so much QA they need to do to make sure they can run in all nine platforms they're trying to release the game on. And I have a feeling this might be coming across the same issue with Halo Infinite. If you think just like on the Xbox side of things, they're not even dealing with the PlayStation side of things like Cyberpunk is having to do, but you got Xbox One, Xbox One S, no Xbox One X. You have the Series X, you have the Series S, and then you also have PC. That's six platforms you're trying to develop a game for. Obviously, yes, like the Xbox One version should probably run just as fine on the Series S and X, but people on the S and X platforms kind of expect a bit better performance, some more features and things like that that you have to create for those platforms specifically, like HDR that came with the One S, and you also have like 4K game availability that you have like for the Series X, Series S, the PC version, and the Xbox One X. Halo has never released on this many platforms before, ever. Ever. They've only ever had to worry about one platform, the most current gen Xbox. And then later on, yeah, some PC versions get released, but that's all they've ever had to worry about. And I'm sure they have to find a middle ground of an art style and scale of the game to where if someone's playing on the Xbox One, it's still an enjoyable experience. Or if you're playing on PC with high end visuals, you also have an enjoyable experience as well. So having such a wide range of hardware specs for your game is going to be very challenging and that could be a major reason why the game was delayed. We saw with the gameplay demo reveal of the pop in textures and lightings and geometry that we saw all over the place that draw distance and things like that have been needed to be worked on quite a bit and especially with like the lighting pop in as well. Uh, the lighting engine just as a whole really need to be some work on right there as well. You can see the issues that they're coming across here and obviously that it's just a very complex launch the most complex launch halo has ever had to do on top of being the most ambitious halo game we've ever seen to date so is 343 buy enough more than they can chew i mean they've always been a studio that's wanted to push halo to as much as they can for each game they've released for their own vision some people have enjoyed that some people have not but i've always appreciated their ambition that they've always had for their halo titles and see what hopefully comes out soon guys i'm still holding out for a spring release somewhere between march and june somewhere in there is where i'm expecting to see halo infinite's release date so what are your guys' thoughts on the paid armor coatings for being five dollars that seems a bit steep for just customization of colors and you know armor effects and things like that but you know, we don't have the whole story yet, but right now it does look very concerning. I'm very concerned about the whole process as well, and also how Halo Infinite is being delayed as well. There's a lot of things going on right now with this series, and if you guys want to stay up to date, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out the videos on the screen right over here. 
If you missed any content for me recently, I've got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.